Hey guys, it's Miss Tran. So today we will be reading Animal Dads. So let's get started. All right, so this book, Animal Dads, is a nonfiction book. And the author's purpose for writing this book is to teach or inform the readers all the different ways that these animal dads take care of their family. Dads do many things. They built us homes to live in. Remember, right up here, this is called a caption. And a caption is usually next to a picture or a photograph. And the purpose of a caption is to give us more information about the picture or photograph. So it says, a stickleback dad builds a nest out of pieces of plants. The female stickleback lays her eggs in this nest. The male fertilizes them. Afterward, the male drives the female away, but his job isn't over yet. Dad continues to guard the nest from enemies and he protects the babies after they hatch. They keep us snug and warm. After an emperor penguin female lays her single egg, she leaves dad in charge and walks to the sea to search for food. For nine weeks, dad holds the egg on his feet, keeping it warm under a special feather lined pouch. After the egg hatches, mom returns. Then she and dad take turns feeding and caring for their downy youngster. They bathe us. Prairie Val dads share all the duties of raising their kids. They help dig underground nests and tunnels for their babies to live in. They cuddle with their young and keep them warm. When a baby gets dirty, dad makes sure it gets a good bath. And just tidy us up. Gorillas live in close family groups. Dad's main job is to protect the family's territory, but that's not all he does. Sometimes he plays with the youngsters and removes bi biting insects and dirt from their fur. This is called grooming. Dads watch out for strangers. Poison arrow frogs make excellent parents. Some types of female poison arrow frogs lay their eggs under a stone or in a moist hole. Dad guards these eggs and chases away enemies, including other frogs. After the tadpoles hatch, they wiggle onto dad's back. Dad carries the tadpoles to a small stream or pond where they grow into adult frogs. And shelter us from harm. Like sickleback dads, some ski lids fish are active fathers. They build nests, guard eggs, and many even find food for their babies to eat. If danger comes along, some childhood's dads protect their young in an amazing way. Dad opens his mouth and the babies swim inside. The babies stay inside his mouth until the danger has passed. They feed us. Beavers are famous for cutting down trees to build dams and lodges. Beaver dads also cut down trees for another reason. When baby, when baby beavers stop drinking mother's milk, dad chops down trees so the babies can eat meals of fresh, tender bark. And help us find our voice. Most birds are born knowing how to sing, but not all. Young male Western meadowlarks learn their songs by listening to their dads and other adult males. Young meadowlarks don't always listen to the right songs. Some meadowlarks have learned the songs of red-winged blackbirds, common yellowthroats, 
and even cardinals. Sometimes, dads play. Dwarf mongoose dads are good time dads. Like giraffes, whoops, I'm sorry, like gorillas, dwarf mongooses live in close families that have aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, and of course, parents. Mom rarely plays with her youngsters, but dad often joins in a playful romp in the dirt. Dad also catches most of the, most of the food for his youngsters and teaches them how to hunt. Other times, they perform. Killdeer lay their eggs on open rocks or gravel. If a predator comes too close to the eggs, a killer deer dad can turn into an actor. Often, he starts shrieking loudly and pretending he has a broken wing. With luck, the predator will follow dad and leave the killer deer's egg alone. Dads have their ups to spawn or reproduce. Salmon return to the same river or stream where they were born. The trip can be difficult. Salmon dads and moms often have to leap clear out of the water to get past logs or rocks. Sometimes a salmon dad even wriggles through. Let me reread that. That didn't sound right. Sometimes a salmon dad even wiggles over shallow stretches of gravel to reach the place where he will spawn. And their downs. Lion dads might seem like lazy dads, but that's not always true. Lions live in family groups called prides. In the pride, female lions raise the cubs and do most of the hunting. Father lions guard the females and cubs and defend the pride's territory from other lions. All of this can be a lot of work. That's why it's not unusual to see a lion dad yawn, taking an afternoon nap. Some dads go away. Many, many baby animals never get to see their parents. After gopher tortoises' dads mate with gopher tortoise moms, the dads go their own way. Mom buries her eggs in a shallow nest in, in sandy soil. When she leaves as well, never to see, let me reread that one more time. Then she leaves as well never to see her babies after they hatch. Some dads always stay. Wolves live together in packs. Each pack is led by a male and female wolf who mate for life. After a new litter of babies is born, dad leads the pack on hunting trips and brings back meat for the pups to eat. Dad also protects the pups, plays with them, and of course, teaches them how to howl. Dads work with moms. Like gopher tortoises, most reptile parents leave soon after they have mated and laid their eggs. Nile crocodiles are different. Nile crocodiles' mom and dads watch over their nest and carry the babies to water after their hatch. Dad, dads also work with moms to chase away predators until the babies can look out for themselves. And do things for us that we never even know. Megapodes don't incubate their eggs by sitting on them. Instead, 
Many Megapode's dads build large mounds of leaves and soil for mom to lay her eggs. As the leaves in the mounds rot, they give off heat, which incubates the Megapode's eggs. Mom leaves after she lays the eggs, but dad, stickers, but dad sticks around. He turns the leaves over and moves them around to make sure the eggs remain at just the right temperature until they hatch. Babysitting dads? You bet! Tamarins are small primates related to monkeys, gorillas, and people. Tamarins live in groups. Dads often help care for the young, including sharing the babysitting duties. If a curious tamarind youngster wanders away, dad runs after it and brings it back to the family. House cleaning dads? Sure. Desert isopod dads and moms dig and defend the burrows where they raise their young. Dads also help with house cleaning. Both he and mom carry out soil and refuses and refuse from the burrows. Desert isopods don't live very long. Both parents die soon after their young are born. Dads that give birth? It's hard to believe, but yes, one or two. After mating, a seahorse or pipefish mother transfers her eggs to the father. Inside dad's, inside dad's special belly pouch, the eggs hatch, but the young fish don't swim out right away. They feed from blood vessels that line dad's pouch. When the babies grow big enough to survive on their own, dad gives birth. The babies swim out into the ocean. Dads do many things. Dads are many things. All right. Again, this book is called Animal Dads and it's a nonfiction book. So go ahead and complete the activity that goes with this book, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye, guys.